Ciao Italia! Sto ricevendo un sacco di messaggi di persone che mi mandano articoli dall'Italia inerente al caso dei senza tetto a Las Vegas che sono stati confinati in un grande parcheggio. Helping the homeless, that's the goal of the new shelter set up in downtown. It is temporary after Catholic Charities had to close its shelter after someone tested positive for COVID-19. You have reached a voicemail for Leslie Carmine, Director of Media and Community Relations for Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada. For media-related inquiries, please contact the firm Public relations and marketing. My fiance is here from Italy and she's getting all these emails about how you you guys kicked all these poor homeless out and they're now living in a parking lot and little square boxes. Avevano trovato un caso di coronavirus in una struttura di carità cattolica dove vengono ospitati molti senza tetto. Hanno dovuto chiudere questa struttura e hanno confinato con tanto di controlli sanitari, eccetera i senza tetto in un'area protetta. Okay, this place here only holds so many people, so many beds, you know what I'm saying? And then we sleep on the sidewalk. I want to say, I'm going to thank everybody who's around here in the neighborhood police office. I'm going to thank y'all. La foto che avete visto tutti è una foto fatta mentre stavano igienizzando i materassini. Perché se poi andate a vedere le notizie locali è pieno di universitari, ragazzi, volontariato che hanno portato di tutto per questi senza tetto. And we're just trying to clear up what's going on because it looks bad over there so they make a big story out of it. We had a, a client that um, went to the health district and was found to be tested positive mm -hmm. and he had used our facility, um, supposedly also the Salvation Army and then also the, the city of Las Vegas' courtyard across the street. Mm -hmm. So the health district recommended that we close temporarily all of the staff that may have been in that you know in a, any proximity had to go through screenings and so unfortunately we did have to close temporarily and for them to close their shelter um, i think was was a big burden on the entire community many of those persons traveled across the street to the courtyard we have been at over capacity city of las vegas responds and it, it, it rises to the occasion the city um said that they were going to work on a solution what they communicated to us is that they were going to do that at Cashman Field um, and they unfortunately decided to do it outside rather than inside the building. So, so we tried to do as fast as we could. We, we wanted to be able to get people back in and um, so once we were able to do that we had to have the health district come back. They did inspection on our shelter. They went in our kitchen and then we had to follow some additional, you know, um, Security measures, basically everyone that came in was getting screened. Um, and then we had to increase the distance between the beds in the shelters. Really, I bet it's less people will fit with the beds farther apart, huh? About 50% capacity right now. Honestly, I really appreciate your time. Uh, one last quick question okay. here. If they test positive, they're homeless. What happens? It's the idea is to treat homeless people suffering from COVID-19 before the health care system is completely overwhelmed. Now the county had to think about that because that, that may happen. Um, they erected like a, a tent. It's a tent. It's an outdoor facility, but it's a tent that has um, 
inside it has rooms in it these are our most vulnerable residents with the fewest personal resources las vegas authorities revealed this temporary structure at cashman field near downtown it should be finished by early next week and it will have enough space to isolate treat and contain up to 350 homeless individuals impacted by covid 19. if someone's here and maybe during the night they start to not feel good or maybe having some symptoms we have to put them somewhere separate from everyone so we do have a space for that here but it's only it's not a large space it only has 10 beds so at every shelter um, that has gone through training with the southern nevada health district and the cdc staff to be able to properly uh, screen individuals for symptoms right temperature etc um, if they display symptoms that make the shelter providers worried they can have them transported up here the containment campus will have food water, restrooms, and security, among other services. And authorities are concerned as spring temperatures rise and the summer heat sets in. With the change in temperature, it's really important that these tents are uh, climate controlled. And why we went with the quality of builder we did with Vision Build, uh, who's not only did the world market display tents, but they built a similar footprint for homeless shelters in L.A. County numerous times.